welcome back friends on this video of apiculture in early lecture we discussed about apiculture its introduction its definition choice of flora social behavior their caste like queen drone workers etc in this video we will discuss about life cycle of honey bee honey bee hive apiculture methods and products of apiculture so let's start with life cycle when population get bigger of the hive then old queen escape from hive with large number of workers and drones for finding a, finding new place new queen stay in old hive and and old queen uh, find a new place with some workers and few drones new queen takes mating flight or nuptial flight with few drones copulation or mating occurs in the air and fertilized female return back to the hive this type of mating done in air only one time first time means nuptial flight or mating flight are done in air for first time only one time drones are developed from unfertilized eggs they are haploid with 16 chromosomes while queens queen and worker produced from fertilized eggs they are diploid with 32 chromosomes this is the life cycle of honey bee queen lays eggs queen lays eggs then these eggs are hatched into larva worker taking care of these hatched eggs and give them royal jelly for 2 days then female larva continuously feeds on royal jelly while drones and workers worker larva feeds on honey and pollen the when larva reaches at full growth when larva reaches at full growth worker seals the cell with wax worker seals the cell with wax larva goes into then larva goes into pupation period and larva become a pupa pupa transform in adult this adult bee cut the sealed wax and emerge out from cell so this is the life cycle of honey bee queen lays eggs eggs hatches into larva larva sorry larva feeds on honey and first two days of feeds on royal jelly then a full growth then full grown larva uh, are becomes a pupa and pupa pupa is transformed in adult and adult cut the wax sealed cell and emerge out hatching period of larva from eggs takes 3 days as i told you for 2 days larva fed on protein rich royal jelly after 2 days larva of workers and drones are fed on honey and pollen but the larva of queen are continuously fed on royal jelly these different types of food help them to develop differently differently means the abdomen of queen is large compared to drone and workers uh, workers uh, workers mouth part are well developed this type of difference each larva has molds molds means remove old skin and emerge out with new skin and grows and then its cell is sealed with wax cap worker sealed this cell with wax cap as i told you p 
pupa undergoes complete metamorphosis and finally cuts the cell cap with its mandibles and emerge out, emerge as a young bee or young bee means there, there is a three possibilities it is emerge out as a worker or drone or new queen this is the life cycle of honey bee you can see their eggs larva full growth of larva then pupa then you can see here adult this is also life cycle of honey bee you can see eggs in cell larva in cell full growth of larva in cell pupa and finally adult emerge out from cell by cutting this wax sealed cell honey bee hive it is made by workers by secreting wax honey bee hive is made by workers by secreting wax hive has thousand of hexagonal cells as you are as you all seen in the early image of lecture one of apiculture the there are thousand of hexagonal cells arranged in se arranged in sets two sets opposite to each other on common base this is the development time of honey bees pause the video and note down this table worker queen drones stages these are the three stages hatching hatching cell cap become a pupa become an adult emerge out from cell note down this table now we move on to the apiculture methods there are mainly there are two methods first one is old or indigenous method while second is modern method first one old or indigenous method it is very crude and unplanned in this type i have used are first one natural fixed combs prepared by bees this natural comb is prepared by bees while se while second one is artificial movable hive prepared of wooden box empty box or water pots etc this artificial movable hive is is prepared by a uh, people for collecting honey honey bees are made to escape from honeycomb or honey hive by smoking or fumigation during night at night bees are in rest position so people people extract honey at the at that night they made to escape honey bees especially at night during night here some draw uh, here some are drawbacks of old methods here some drawbacks are mentioned by old method honey is extracted is not pure it contains larvae pupae wax pollen etc by this method old colony is destroyed because they should spend lot of energy for build new hive bees may not construct new hive at a same place because they are feared so they not make a new hive at a same place natural hives may be attacked by enemies natural enemies like rats monkeys wasps ants etc or damaged by climatic factors like wind rain etc and chance to improve race are not possible in natural condition second one is modern method in this method honey bee are <coughs> sorry 
in this method honey bees are reared in artificial hives first one artificial hive it is made up of made up of wooden box wooden boxes which can be easily shifted it is movable and arranged in two three tiers you heard this word like two tier ac or three tier ac it is tier not a tire remember this it is a tier not a tire second one is brood chamber brood chamber base of hive is formed by bottom board base of hive is known as bottom board the bottom board carries two chambers bottom board carries how many chambers two chambers first one is brood chamber which is lower one and upper one is a super chamber or food chamber the large lower chamber called brood chamber which contain queen bee and the upper smaller chamber called super or food chamber these chambers are separated by a perforated zinc sheet called queen excluder remember this these chambers are separated by a perforated zinc sheet called queen excluder the size of perforation made that worker and queen can easily pass through them but queen bee can't pass through them because queen size is large size so queen can't pass through them perforation means perforation means row of small holes by this perforated zinc sheet queen cannot enter in super chamber so she cannot lay egg in super chamber on the top of on the top there are plain and sloping zinc sheet which protect beehive from rains in this image of movable artificial hive you can see bottom board this is the bottom board or bottom stand hive bodies these two are hive body upper one is super chamber or food chamber while lower one is brood chamber this is brood chamber and this is super chamber honey bee or honey excrete extractor <coughs> extractor is a large tin drum in the drum there are 8 to 10 pockets are placed for putting honey comb here the pure honey is extracted by basal output excretion of honey is done on principle of centrifugal centrifugal force sorry this is the image of extractor large tin drum here you can see there eight pockets in this pocket the honey comb is placed and they start rotating by centrifugal force and honey is extracted by this outlet from here honey is collected from here honey is collected uncapping knife in honeycomb chambers full of honey are sealed with wax by workers this <coughs> this all cells are sealed by worker with wax this wax seal sealed cells are uncapped with heating knife you can see here this is the uncapping knife this is the this is the procedure of 
on keeping the wax sealed cell here this is uncapped and this procedure is ongoing there are two products of apiculture first one is honey and second one is bee wax honey is a sweet thick viscous liquid produced by honey bees honey bees produced honey for their own use you should remember this honey bees are produced honey for their own use color and flavor determined by flower used their color and flavor totally depended on the bees from which flower they suck the nectar so flavor and color depends on flower used it contains 18 percentage of water honey contains 18 percentage of water second one is bee wax yellow to almost black in color bee wax is yellow to almost black in color it is soft to brittle some wax are soft while some are brittle and bee wax is insoluble in water this is the image of honey main product and this is the bee wax side product bee wax are made from honeycomb and honey is extracted from honeycomb or honey hive so here apiculture is completed thank you thank you so much